Good morning. Helen Hughes knows the value of contributing to community. Her career as a municipal councillor spans 22 years and two cities. As a representative for the residents of Saskatoon and Victoria, she applied her insights and leadership to planning, financial and social services, often with a focus on bettering the lives of youth and First Nations community members. Known for her persistence and hard work, Helen is dedicated to improving her community, both in spirit and economy. Time and time again, Helen proved that she has the ability to not only identify a problem, but also help solve it with relevant and timely solutions. Her community-driven approach ensures others are as engaged in a project as she is. Notable contributions include her work as a member of the Victoria Public Library Board, where she founded the Lifelong Learning Festival held on International Literacy Day. As counselor responsible for liaison with downtown Victoria, she worked with the medical health officer to organize the Capital Region Action Team on Sexually Exploited Youth. She launched fundraisers, such as the Super Bowls of Hope for the Victoria Youth Empowerment Society in support of its programs and initiated a massive spring cleaning of the whole downtown area called the 60-Minute Scrub-Up. Royal Roads believes that real change happens at the community level, and it is successful because of role models like Helen. Her positive impact has been recognized by many organizations, including Royal Roads with a Chancellor's Community Recognition Award. She continues to be an active volunteer in the community and is steadfast in her belief that everyone has something to contribute. For her distinguished record of serving her fellow citizens, not only as a community leader, but in demonstrating to our alumni the value of service and the importance of making a difference, Royal Roads is honored to present Helen Hughes for the Don Honoré Degree Doctor of Laws. Helen Hughes, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Royal Roads University Act and in accordance with the recommendation of the Board of Governors of Royal Roads University, I confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Laws honoris causa with all the rights, privileges and honors here and elsewhere thereto appertaining. Dr. Hughes will now be hooded by Dr. Stephen Grundy, Vice President, Academic and Provost. Speaking of skill testing questions, <laughs> here we go. Dr. Alan Cahoon will now present Dr. Hughes with her degree. It is with a great pleasure that I now call on Dr. Hughes to deliver her convocation address. Chancellor Matheson, President Cahoon, governors, other distinguished platform guests, graduates, thank you, the family members and friends, and we mustn't forget the staff who put this all together for us. So thank them. There is a reason why I have preceded Ted today to this microphone. Uh, there is an allocated time for each presentation. And if he were to go first, I'm afraid <laughs> I would never get a chance. 
<laughs> As you know, he's a lawyer. <laughs> and after 58 years of marriage, I've come to know he never stops talking and always seems to get the last word. At the outset, I wish to express my gratitude for the honorary doctorate given to me today. Becoming, becoming, along with you, an alumni of the Royal Road University has real meaning to me as I am a great admirer of this university primarily because of its relevance to today's world. In addition, your campus is both historic and a place of beauty with its oceanfront location, majestic trees, foliage, and floral gardens. In fact, when I tour this great acreage, I feel very much at home as I'm much like the snapdragon. Some of me is snapping and the rest is a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> this university is different in many ways from traditional centers of higher learning in our country. That is most evident in the way it works with accessibility being the hallmark of the learning experience available at Royal Roads. The emphasis is on making educational uh, opportunities available to those already in the workforce. And that in itself sets Royal Roads apart from the mainstream. Also, the emphasis on attracting students from other continents identifies this university as leader in international understanding and relationships in the world where advances in technology and transportation are bringing us all closer together as neighbors on the world stage. Like Ted, I'm a graduate of the University of Saskatchewan. And unquestionably, my success I have had in my endeavors is due to the vista on the world in which learning experience opened to me. After some years of voluntary community service during my years as a stay-at-home mom, uh, which was more the norm 50 years ago. And um, I chose municipal politics as a vehicle for me to give back and contribute to my community and to assist in the betterment of the lives around me. As was stated, I served 22 years as a municipal uh, councillor. And to me, the value of municipal service is that you can always be your own person independently make up your own mind after consulting with people and then vote accordingly. While I understand the concept of parliamentary democracy at work in the two senior levels of government, I believed I could neither get satisfaction for myself or results for others by always vetting the party line. In Saskatoon, my emphasis was working on relationships in an urban center with emphasis on the well-being of those moving from the rural area to uh, the urban. I recruited a University of Saskatchewan professor, uh, Dr. Ron Fisher, who came as a wonderful volunteer, we all were volunteers, to play an important and significant role in the community liaison committee of which I was the chair. And that same Dr. Ron Fisher, it's a small world, in recent years has been a sessional lecturer in the School of Peace and Conflict Management here at Royal Roads. In Victoria, the thrust of my efforts were in other directions. In my early years, I was a leading voice for realignment of municipalities in the greater Victoria area. Thirteen separate local governments in the Capital Regional District, rather than a maximum of three, has never made sense to me. While to date my efforts have not borne fruit, surely someday we will elect a provincial government that will put the partisan politics aside and assert leadership to meet the obvious need. In the latter years of my service at, on city council here, the emphasis of my contribution was on assistance to youth in removing them from high risk environment of the street to help them make the transition to healthier and more constructive life situations, such that positive choices, and I've heard, I'm sure you've heard that before, positive choices will be made uh, resulting in better outcomes for them. That continues to be my emphasis today as a volunteer in our community. 
And I'm just going to do a little plug here, because this is the first 15th year that the Super Bowls of Hope has been held, and it will be uh, next Tuesday from 11 a.m. to 1.30 at the Inn at Laurel Point, and the tickets are $25. <laughs> <laughs> and you can get them at the door. So hope to see many of you. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm sure you will excuse me for being a little bit of a, a local uh, advertiser, but that's okay. I, I didn't pay for that. Now these are just a few of the opportunities that I have had, which hopefully have improved the lives of others, but which also has brought a sense of achievement to me and the satisfaction that comes with being of assistance to others. You also will graduate into a world of opportunities, opportunities which I encourage you to take. Walk through the open doors. The society into which you graduate needs will benefit from the commitment of time, energy, dedication, and the expertise which each one of you has. I encourage you to always find time in your balanced life to participate in volunteerism. In her college days, Oprah Winfrey taped the following words to the mirror in, in her room. If you want to be successful, be excellent. If you want the best the world has to offer, offer the world your best. To the graduates today, my message is, live so that at the end of each day, you can say, I did my very best. There are incredible new horizons for you to conquer. You possess a powerhouse of energy and a wealth of knowledge. Share your attributes with others and be a leader and a doer. I'm privileged to share this ceremony with you and honored to receive the recognition so generously offered by Royal Roads University. Thank you so much.